So I absolutely love to use anchor charts in my classroom, even when we're using our devices. So when I want to do an anchor chart for writing, one of the things I've struggled with is the fact that I have to copy everything over. So if I want to do a teacher example, I'm having to write this big, long essay on a piece of paper, which, you know, is fine if I'm only doing a paragraph to model the introduction, but if I'm doing, say, like, a two-page essay to show the entire personal narrative or whatever we're working on, it can be really tedious. Um, also, I'm not really good at drawing things, so if it's something a little more complex, sometimes even drawing a circle for me takes me two or three tries because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So what I did is I found a way to very easily um, print any size um, file, so as long as you can edit it, as an anchor chart. And so I'm going to show you how to do this here from any of our PowerPoints in the membership. So um, when you have a PowerPoint, like let's say this one, um, this is set for 8.5 by 11 because otherwise when you go to print it, you might have some issues with your printer as far as scaling size. So if we made it a lot bigger, then your printer might have a hard time compressing it into 8.5 by 11. So if you uploaded this um, and made it poster size, it'd be very blurry. So one way that we can do this is we can change the file size of this to poster size. And I'll often do this with multiple pieces, um, or sometimes I'll just do it with one page at a time depending on what I need. Um, so let's take a look at this file. First of all, let's make a new copy uh, because the last thing that we wanna do is um, have our regular copy on our computer um, be altered and then come back and need it and be like, oh my gosh, that is not what it's supposed to look like. It's missing things. So I'm going to alter this to say anchor charts. Okay. And so I'm going to delete anything that I don't want to print. Um, so I want to print my mentor text. I want to print this on two really big posters. I don't want to print any of the teacher lesson plans. This I could probably very easily um, do in my own writing, but I'm going to just print it just in case. Um, I'm going to print this teacher model. Um, I'm printing all of these um, blank ones uh, because my teacher models, I want to actually highlight and show my students my thinking. So I'm not actually printing poster size the teacher models. I'm using the teacher models um, which I either have printed or digital for me to know which parts to highlight. And that way when I'm doing my lesson, I don't really have to think about like, okay, what was I supposed to write here? Or where did I find this part? Um, so I'm only going to do the blank ones. Okay, my topic ideas, this is good too. I probably could draw this one. Um, more things like these charts. Um, any big text are a lot better to get printed. So, but I'm just going to print any ones that I would use um, to save me time. Okay, let's see. This is the student page, so I don't need this. I'm only printing my mini lesson pages. Okay, so these are all many lesson pages that I'm going to print poster size so that I don't have to create the poster myself. So uh, you want to decide what size you want your poster and I'm going to show you where I get mine done um, pretty cheaply. You just Google Staples Draft Print. So if you're lucky you have an actual printing store that's local to you that isn't a chain that does drafting prints because usually those are cheaper. Sometimes as cheap as like 50 cents or a dollar. Um, Staple usually charges between one and two dollars depending on the size. And a really good benefit of those other stores that are more local is sometimes if you tell them you're a teacher, they will print things for you for free. Now, if you're trying to print a regular poster somewhere, especially at Staples, you're going to see that they're looking for 15 to $20 each. You don't want that. What you want are drafting or engineering prints. Okay, these are blueprints. And essentially these are going to be black and white, but what makes these work really well is that the black and white organizers look really good on the drafting paper. 
Okay, so you'll see mine is $1.79 at my store, and you'll see sizes here. So 18 by 24 is pretty small. Um, 24 by 36 is my preferred size. The 36 by 48 is pretty large. So the reason I'm showing you this is when we go to PowerPoint to change our file size, we need to know what size we want our poster. So if I'm gonna do a 24 by 36 poster, um, which is $3.59 each now at my Staples, which is way more than it used to be, um, but I still will do to save myself time, 18 by 24 is a lot cheaper. But I need to know what my file size needs to be, okay? So if you're kind of on a budget, you don't have a local print store, definitely print it a little smaller. 18 by 24 is not bad, it just gives you less room to write on. Um, so you're definitely gonna want your students to sit closer as well. Okay, so let's go back to our PowerPoint file. I'm gonna do 24 by 36. Um, now this is different in whatever version of PowerPoint that you have. Um, you're looking for the tab that has slide size. Um, I'm in the new version of PowerPoint, so it ends up being under design. And where you, but the slide size will look exactly the same no matter what tab it is, so you'll look for this. On the old version of PowerPoint, it's on the left. And every time they update it, they change things around just to mess with us. So page setup. Okay, so here we are. We have the exact inches, so width and height. So we have 24 by 36, easy. Okay, so 24 inches by 36 inches. Okay. Okay, I always um, do scale and scale up, and sometimes it'll make things a little bit funky, um, especially because this is a little bit longer. The drafting prints are a lot longer. Um, so it looks actually okay, except for these headings right here, which um, I can change the font size to make them bigger, or I can just delete them because I don't necessarily need those headings. Um, this looks pretty good too. It gives me quite a bit of area to write on. So I'm not too concerned. I think it looks pretty big. Uh, it looks pretty good as far as size goes. If I change this to like 50, then it's going to make it a little bigger. Um, sometimes things will overlap. So you'll just want to check, um, double check before you have it printed that everything looks nice and exactly how you want to it to. So it's kind of nice to have it be completely editable like this because then you can just make those small modifications, especially this, my topic ideas. Why is that so small? Okay, so for the most part, not bad. I, I clicked scale up when it asked me to, so it kind of made everything bigger except the titles for some reason. Um, so I'm pretty good to go on this. The only thing I need to do last, oh, look at this. <laughs> it just does weird things sometimes, but Honestly, just font sizes and sometimes moving a couple things around is all I need. So weird. Very weird. Okay, so, um, oh, this too, nope, that looks okay. All right, so everything looks good in the file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my file. And now to make it really easy for Staples to read the file, I'm going to save it as a PDF. So um, sometimes when you upload things and it is a um, file like PowerPoint where nothing's really secured to the background, um, they kind of read it how they wanna read it and the fonts, sometimes if they don't have the font or just it doesn't look the same in their system, it'll be funky. So what we wanna do is um, save it as a PDF. It's easy, save as PDF, done. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do now is that I, since I have my anchor charts file here and it's now a PDF, is I'm gonna upload it. Okay, always black and white. No reason to pay for color because these organizers are all made black and white for this purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna name this Personal Narrative Week 2. Okay, so I'm going to add my files, super easy. Okay, 
Make sure it's your PDF, it's your anchor chart. Kind of flip through here, make sure it's the right one. It's going to look funky because I can already see on the left hand side it says landscape. Well, we did not upload a landscape file, right? We uploaded one that's portrait. So we need to change this to portrait. Hmm. I don't know why it's not liking me. Let's see what's going on with this one. Okay. Oh, psh. of course. I do this every single time. We want to make sure that we click media and we change the size because remember we picked 24 by 36, but they forget. So you want to make sure it's the correct size. It was showing that it was too big for my 18 by 24 because we picked 24 by 36. There we go. I'm glad that I had these two issues because I want you to see it because you will likely encounter it. So you just want to make sure you have picked the right size. If it looks wrong here or it looks blurry, you don't have the right file size or the right size selected here. So your PowerPoint file size and the media size need to match up. It's portrait, single sided, black and white, we're good to go. Okay. Now I added a lot of pages, which is why it's $32, because I added 10 pages and it's $3 each. It's way too much. Definitely find a local print shop or if that's, if the case of Staples is the only place that will do the blueprint prints, um, do the ones that are 18 by 24 because those are only like $1.79. That's so much cheaper or just print the ones that you absolutely need. So if you just need the mentor text one as an anchor chart, because that's a lot to copy down, um, that's one or two pages depending on the grade level. So much, much better. Because definitely we should not be spending $30 a week on printing these anchor charts, unless you really, really need them to save time. Um, also talk to your local manager just ask like, hey, I'm a teacher. I really need these drafting things printed. Would you be willing to donate your services? And a lot of times they're willing to do so. Okay, so I'm going to get these printed uh, and then they'll be ready to go up poster size. Um, they're really, really big and really nice looking and I know that you'll love them. So hopefully you're able to figure this out from this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know.